<clears throat> What's going on, everybody? It's Chris from Out West with Chris. And this is a totally impromptu live stream. Like, if I got a single viewer, I would be surprised. So, um, this isn't really for the live stream. This is just something that uh, just popped up that I feel pretty strongly about that I want to chat with everybody about. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to do some screen sharing. I'm going to show you guys um, some stuff that's going on. And this is going to apply a lot to smaller YouTube channels. And really, in my opinion, I think YouTube kind of has some things messed up in their priority list. I know they make a lot of money off of some of the big YouTubers. Um, you know, he who shall not be named, who gets to post dead bodies and stuff like that in his videos and really doesn't have a lot of recourse, you know, simply makes a small little apology and everything's cool, right? Or the big channels, um, you know, other big channels, they make a lot of money off of that stuff. And the smaller channels, they don't make as much money off of, but there's just so many small channels and I think YouTube has it kind of jacked up because in order for a channel to get big, they have to start. And with a lot of these new rules that we're going to chat about in a few minutes, people aren't going to want to start. Um, it's, it's just putting this big barrier of entry into the whole YouTube world. And uh, before we go too much further, sorry, my house is a complete mess, but hey, whatever. Um, I am going to really quick jump over and um, just kind of look at the chat. If I can find my chat. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa, we want to turn that down. All right. So I don't know if my audio is jacked up. I should probably put my headphones on so um, the quality is a little bit better. Let's just see. Okay, um, so here's what we're going to chat about. Let's chat about the new rules really quick. Um, let me pull up something. We'll just read straight from their blog. Okay, so this is the YouTube creator blog. And a couple of months ago, or in 2017, um, they set up this deal on YouTube where you had to have a where you had to have 10,000, I think it was 10,000 views before you could monetize um, your videos. Okay, and really like. The small channels, they're not in this really to, to get a hold of uh, a bunch of money, right? People would love for their channels to be, you know, large enough to support them. Um, they would love that, okay? But I think most of us, like me, right? Um, I don't have a huge channel. Um, this isn't really impacting me, but I don't, I don't have any, you know, illusions that someday I'm going to make a living off of YouTube full time. I mean, it would take a lot. And I think most channels don't feel that way. Okay. I think most channels like to get a little bit of payback, you know, whether it's 25 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month, a hundred bucks a month, whatever it is, just so they can feel like they're, you know, they're pouring all this time into it. They know YouTube's making money off of the ad revenue they'd like to get a little bit back. And I think a lot of times smaller YouTube channels take that money and they invest it in a new GoPro. They use it to buy baits. Um, you know, they do all of that stuff. And it's not really about the money. Okay. It, I think the majority of YouTubers, it's not about that, but they want to be able to see some sort of like, return on their their investment of time so they do i think the majority of smaller youtubers do this because they love to share a story that's my honest opinion okay um if they can get a little bit money back to buy a new better camera or something like that 
then that's awesome. Okay, so let's just look over this really quick. 2017 marked a tough year for many of you. You know what? It marked a tough year for many of us because of some stupid rules that YouTube put in place because of channels that were, you know, bum fight channels and stuff like that. Um, you know, advertisers were like, oh, I don't want my ads running on that. And so YouTube lost a lot of money because a lot of advertisers said, clean up your act or we're not going to run ads. Okay. So they pulled those ads. Um, YouTube cleaned up their act. In the meantime, um, they started saying, hey, you have to have a minimum of 10,000 lifetime views before you can be a YouTube partner program um, person. Okay. And some of that, I think, part of me thinks that that was a good thing. There were some, uh, like you'll see right here, spammers and impersonators. I've had so many videos uh, impersonated. Like I file a claim, it seems like every other month. Okay. Um, I, I, I have one that I could file right now. Um, I'm kind of waiting to hear back from the guy who uploaded it from his on his channel. Um, I, I thought it was kind of interesting. I found it randomly, um, but we could actually show that. <clears throat> Anyways, so 10,000 views. I think people are okay with that. It, it cuts back on those spammers and impersonators, um, channels that just upload other people's videos um, so that they can't make money. I understand it. I really do. Um, but now what they're doing is you have to have four thousand hours of watch time in 12 months and a thousand subscribers 4,000 hours of watch time is 240,000 minutes of watch time if I did my math correctly now that's in the past year so most channels that's not going to be a huge problem okay it's not the tough part is this okay that's one reason why I wanted to come on and do this live stream today, because I want to shout out a few channels and I want to encourage you guys to go check them out. Now, I'm not going to tell you just go click that subscribe button. That's not what my goal is, okay? Um, I want you to go check them out though, okay? Give them a spin. See if there's somebody you know that you like. And if it's even something you might think is remotely interesting, I'm going to encourage you guys subscribe to them. Okay. Because these small channels, um, they need your help right now. Small channels need the help of other small channels and the rest of the YouTube viewing universe. Um, I hope that makes sense. So we've got a little bit of background. Um, we kind of know what the the new thing is and and i've gotten a few emails and texts today from people saying look dude um this kind of this kind of sucks i mean you know i'm 200 subscribers away or i'm 50 subscribers away you know i have to meet this within the next you know uh month or else i have to reapply and here let me just go back to the screen share real quick if i could get it to come up because I want you guys to see something really quick. Okay, one thing in here that kind of threw me off. Um, so you get a 30-day grace period. On that date, channels that don't meet those criteria aren't going to be part of the, the thing, okay? When they reach 1,000 subs and 4,000 watch hours, they will be automatically reevaluated under strict criteria. Now, what's that mean? Strict criteria. New channels will need to apply and their application will be evaluated when they hit these milestones. So here's, you know, a little bit of something. Says though these changes will affect a significant number of channels, 99% of those affected were making less than 100 per year in the last year, with 90% earning less than two dollars and fifty cents in the last month. I don't know about that. Um, I really don't know. Ah. Uh. 
Yeah, I don't know, guys. Um, kind of, kind of at a loss. I'm gonna go back and um, let's just uh, go through some comments really quick. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. This is crazy. Fishing fever TV. Traveling fishermen checking in. Um, Ginger Empire. Yeah, it's a mess, man. Um, Oregon grown adventures. Go get them. Well, they're only like 40 minutes away without traffic. And I guess, a, well, I'm not going to go there. It's going to shut you down. Ginger Empire. Um, Yankee Tankers. Thanks for doing this. You got it, dude. Um, Thousand, uh, gin, the Ginger Empire, who, this is a, a friend of mine through the Battle Box forums. Um, he has a gaming channel, okay? Um, and he says the 1,000 subs is a huge hurdle, huge. And I've been there, dude. I know it is. Um, and and here's kind of a, just a little word of advice for, for y'all. If you're a little bit shy of that number right now, don't give up. You know what I mean? This is a bump in the road. Um, if you have 250 subscribers right now, you know, just, w just focus on marketing your brand, making good content and spreading the word. You know what I mean? Um, that would be my word of advice. The subscriber thing, it takes a while. Um, it, it's a lot of work to, to move in subscriber count. Um, I am paying personally less and less attention to subscriber count and more to, to view count on my channel, just because I think it's a better indicator of where my channel's going than subscriber count is because, um, we can look at some of my analytics in a minute, but 90% of my viewers are actually viewing through search and they're not subscribers. So, um, anyways, <sighs> Oregon Grown Adventures says, do people do YouTube for money or for the love of sharing? And I'm going to think um, that the majority of people do it for the love of sharing. Um, I think the money is kind of like a little side benefit. You know what I mean? And Ginger Empire responded and said, mix of both. It's a lot of work. And it is a lot of work. Um, I got home today and worked on a video that I uploaded the one of me and my kids um, doing the battle box forum unboxing thingy. And, you know, that was only like a two hour deal. Like it took me an hour and 30 minutes to upload and then, or to edit and then 30 minutes to upload it, you know, something about like that, but that's two hours. You know what I'm saying? That's two hours of my night um, that I don't, get back. So I get it back in other ways though. It's a good investment. It's something I enjoy. I'm not complaining about that. Um, if that makes any sense. So anyways, uh, fishing in Columbus says, what's up, Chris. Thanks for doing the live stream. Um, Oregon grown adventures says I quit doing it because it was a lot of work, but I really enjoyed sharing. And he also adds it costs money for the boxes and the gear and it's fun, but it is a lot of work. Okay, Betavina, Smoke Wolf, what's up, Bet? Um, uh, t -t -t Traveling Fisherman, he says, I'm barely at 300 subs. Uh, Betavina, a little shout out to the podcast, says, strong work on your podcast, Yak Tactics Podcast. Um, okay. Viral News BD says we will get one month to fulfill the requirement. And that is right. You get one month. Okay. <clears throat> Subs don't matter. Views do. That's from Yankee Takers Outdoors. And that's something that I pretty much agree in. Um, You know, uh, Jumbled, I've never talked to you before. Um, somebody in the chat named Jumbled has a channel. 
And he wrote, I have 550 subs or so, and that's a huge number away from 1K. And he says, I'm not here promoting my channel. Um, he does say, I just think that at the very least, the grace period should be a lot longer. Um, you know, that would be cool if there was a grace period that was a lot longer. So somebody said, this is stupid. Well, you can go quack yourself out the door. So just hit the road, dude. Okay, so right now, um, what I'm going to do is I follow quite a few channels that are under that 1,000 range. And really quick, I just want to kind of go through and um, tell you guys about these channels. We can look at them really quick and um, just uh, kind of do some of that. So uh, let's get after it. Oh, okay, dude. I thought you meant this was stupid. Then yeah, the new system is kind of stupid. It kind of pisses me off because there for a long time. Um, sorry, dude. If I <laughs> jump to a conclusion, I shouldn't have. Um, but for the longest time, you know, I struggled to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark. You know what I mean? Like it was over a year for me. It was probably two years um, that it took, and it took a lot of time. And then you know things started to take off. And it's almost like YouTube, a channel needs an incubator in a way. You know what I mean? It needs to be able to, to work and grow, see something come back from that kind of as a motivation um, so that you can see, uh, I don't know, so you can see something good happening from your time investment. All right, let's... Um, Let's take a look at some channels and stuff. Hang on, guys, just a second. It's like that never-ending hallway. <clears throat> okay, so channel subscriptions. Um, so these are some of the channels I subscribe to. I've subscribed to some big channels like Fowler's Makery and Mischief. Um, subscribe to some that are just you know on the cusp, like Ben's More Outdoors. So let's take a look. Um, this is my buddy, Kevin. He does a ton of catfishing videos. Quinn G, I do a lot of fishing, actually. The view hours required um, is 4,000 view hours, 240,000 view minutes. So let's look at Kevin's um, channel really quick. Um, you know, Kevin does a lot of uh, fishing for... Um, catfish. This dude right here, if you do catfish fishing, um, it is the, this is a great channel, okay, for people that like to do catfish um, fishing. So check him out, Kevin's Catterman Adventures. I think he's okay in this. I'm not positive. Um, I'm not positive about that. LT Outdoors, this is um, Lance's channel, and I don't know if LT is in this uh, stream, but if you are, say hey, buddy. Um, LT does a lot of bass fishing. You know, he's got some pretty informative um, videos like, you know, here, this is a, that's a good number for a video, 3.1 thousand views. Um, so 3,100 views, a buzz bait trailer tip, nice size you know not super long um i mean look at these these are somebody is finding use out of these and he has 584 subscribers so people are finding his videos and finding use out of them okay so how to wig or rig a wacky rig bass fishing tips okay um, so that's LT Outdoors. And guys, I will try to have links into the description. It's 10 p.m. here. Um, I don't know if I will get that done tonight, but I would definitely try. So these are channels that I'm telling you guys, like, 
Go check him out. I'm not telling you subscribe. This is Fishing in Columbus. He's good on the subscriber count. Um, he might need some help on some of the view time, though. Yeah, dude. Amazon Tube would be kind of cool. I think that they might be starting that up. Quinji asked, what do you like to fish for? <clears throat> I like to fish for bass, trout, pretty much um, anything I can catch. Uh, my goal this year, 2018, is 20 species, so that's pretty cool. Um, Jumbled said, maybe I should stop complaining and just get back to making videos, focus on videos, not the new rules. You know what, dude? That is going to be one suggestion I have is kind of focus on just doing what you do and do it because you love to do it. Um, I have a video from a couple – um, like a couple months ago, I'll show you guys in a couple minutes. And it was uh, a moment where I just decided, okay, I got to change my reasoning. And that's why I don't focus on subscribers anymore. I focus on views. So fishing in Columbus does a lot of, uh, fishing vids again. Um, looks like he does a few giveaways, some unboxings, gear reviews, um, casking ranger travel rod, put to work at Disney. That sounds fun. Um, so it looks to me like he could use some view help, you know what I mean? Um, so check it out fishing in Columbus and, you know, maybe check out some of his videos. Vidme went by the wayside. Vidme is no more ginger empire. Um, I was uploading on Vidme and that kind of ended. So here we've got Preston outdoors and Ethan, this is Ethan Preston. I know him through Cast King. Um, he does some some really good uh, videos, like rod comparison videos, like this one. Um, some fun videos, like look at that ice fishing for perch in North Dakota. I mean, that's a lot of perch. I want to go ice fishing one of these days. Um, does a lot of bass fishing, and I've seen a bunch of his videos where he does a lot of tip videos, like fishing off of a dock. How you know how to flip and pitch a J rig. Uh, sorry, how to flip and pitch a jig, <laughs> uh, bass fishing. So um, he's sitting at 998. I mean, I think just people watching right now should be able to, to bump him up and over. You know what I mean? Um, you guys should go check it out. Look at this, Duck Hunting 2017, episode three. So he does some duck hunting too. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. All good stuff. Um, this is a guy, um, uh, here, let's talk about Moose really quick. Moose is 58 subscribers. He's going to have a long ways to go. I think I know why Moose does what he does. Um, I think he enjoys it. So, um, 58 subs, just getting started out in this whole crazy YouTube world. What's up LT? I just mentioned to you, I believe. Yeah. Um, so So Drew wrote, I believe the reason why people want a large group of subscribers is because then you can target them from notifications and therefore your view count if they are a subscriber. That is true, but it's also um, kind of, for me, most of my videos get viewed by people who are searching. So who are searching for something, whether that's, a tent review or a backpack, something like that. That's how they find the channel. Um, if that makes any sense and the video and a lot of times they might subscribe, but they don't watch a lot of the other videos. So it's kind of an interesting thing. So this is Moose. Moose does a lot of gear reviews. Um, he gets some boxes like a battle box and he'll actually go out and use some of the gear, which is kind of cool. Um, he does some unboxings and, Let's talk about bug out bags. So he's a gear dude, a survival guy. Uh, I think Moose has a really good attitude. Um, I like him quite a bit. So uh, check him out. You know what I mean? If it's something you're into, that's cool. If not, you know, then don't subscribe. But, you know, check check these smaller channels out is all I'm saying. Budo's fishing. I went fishing with Budo the other day. Budo's a cool dude. Does a lot of like San Francisco Bay right there. There's the bridge. He does a lot of fishing in the bay from um, from the – well, that's not the bay. This is the ocean. The bay's back there. kind of got twisted around. Anyways, 
does a lot of fishing from the shore. Um, he's done some lingcod fishing, <clears throat> um, striper and halibut. I actually went fishing with him in the kayak a couple of days ago. And Budo is a really cool dude. So um, check that out. Let's see. Joey Brawlier. I don't know how to say his name. Um, but Joey's got some videos too. 620, uh, 620 subscribers. You know, um, check it out. A couple of up-and-coming YouTubers. Some guys that I think are really really talented right here. Okay. Um, one guy is Devin from Debo's fishing. Devin is, in my opinion, he makes some good videos. Uh, I mean, his thumbnails are freaking gorgeous, but anyways, I'd highly encourage you guys to check out Debo's fishing. He's another casking dude. Um, you know, I'm a casking guy, so I know a lot of these dudes through that. Uh, but He's got some good, solid, fun videos. And I think next year, um, when he gets back out fishing, he's going to be a fun one to watch. So another dude sitting at 192 who could totally use your guys' help is Ride Along Fishing. And Ride Along Fishing is a fun channel. Um, like, just fun. Fun fishing channel. So... I encourage you guys to check out Ride Along Fishing. Where are we at? Where are we at? Jesse Stanfield's at 221. You should check that out. Um, Master Angler uh, does some um, outdoor stuff. He's not uploading a whole lot right now. So, um, yeah. Our, everybody's buddy, AJ Gore, 697. He could use some love. Um, Dinsmore Outdoors looks like he's okay on that. I don't know how, he, how he's doing on the, the view time thingy. Uh, but Dinsmore Outdoors could probably use a little bit of help on the view. So go watch some of his videos. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Betavina Smoke Wolf. Bet and I fish a lot in the Delta together for, you know, bass, kayak bass fishing and stuff. So, um, hey, fishing without West with Chris. There we go. So he's a, just a good dude. Um, you know, check his channel out. <clears throat> the traveling fisherman um as actually i think yeah he's in here all right um this is a channel that could use some help on the subscribers deal okay um 295 subscribers and he, he's got some videos from all over from okay so this was an alaska video bunch of videos from all over Lots of different types of fish, um, the Russian River in Alaska, um, salmon fishing. Um, he just moved down to Texas, so he got some um, bass fishing in the future. And look at that freaking beard right there, dude. That is a beard. And, um, yeah, beards are cool. So uh, there's that. So check out him. Um my buddy John Z, John Z, I don't, you know, I, I don't think John Z is really doing it for um, the, the, the subscribers. I just, that's, yeah, that's all. Okay. Great American Survival. This is probably the nicest guy on YouTube. And just so you guys know. <clears throat> that is a powerful beard, Lumberjack Dan. It's such a powerful uh, beard. Yeah, uh, Junia, a bunch of us are Pawn Upper Nation people. We're, you know, affiliated in some way with Pawn Upper Nation, or I know them through Casking, or I know them through both. Um, so, yeah. But, okay, back to this right here. Great American Survival. And just so you guys know, if you don't see, like, the this, the little watch bar right there, I actually have two YouTube accounts. I have a personal account that is on my PlayStation, on my television, and I do a lot of YouTube watching um, on my television because it's a big screen. It's so much funner than my computer or my phone. And then I'll jump over to my phone to comment and stuff like that. 
Uh, I can hit the like button on through the PlayStation, but I can't comment through it, which kind of sucks. But anyways, um, there's a ton of outdoor gear. And like I said, Marvin is one of the most positive people I have ever come across on YouTube. Just a great dude. Um, you know, just a, a good person. He's really close. And, you know, if we could do a little bit to help out Marvin, that would be awesome. I know Marvin would probably never ask for the help, um, just kind of knowing the type of duty he is. But I'm just going to say, you know, you, you know, you should just go check him out. Um, Real Canadian Fishing 605. Um, Blackberry Smoke is a freaking awesome band. Um, Steve Sharon. Holy cow. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Glock 17. Glock 17 does some shooting, um, quite a bit of uh, pistol shooting Glocks and such, and covers like some of his matches, um, which is, it's pretty cool. It has a cool channel. I like it. So uh, maybe you guys check it out if you're into that. Keeps resetting way up there. <clears throat> and... Uh, fishing the 401 makes some good videos. Southern Gunner, he's more of an Instagram dude, but you know, if you guys haven't checked out Ish with Fish, he doesn't, you know, he's doing pretty good, but you should just check him out anyway. He's a cool dude. Critical Customs, um, is kind of a, a channel that's not really super active right now. Um, Yankee Tinker Outdoors, this is my buddy Matt. Um, you guys probably know him. See, Matt, I only watched that much of your video. Um, anyways, I know I watch them on my TV and then I jump on here and I, you know, comment. Anyways. <clears throat> okay. So, guys, Matt could really use some help. 852. So, um, Yankee Tinker Outdoors. He has a channel that's a lot like mine. Um, does some, like fishing rod gear equipment reviews, a lot of fishing videos, um, a couple giveaways here and there. He does uh, gear reviews, does some unboxings occasionally. I think he doesn't do unboxings anymore. I think he gave up on that. But um, camping, snowshoeing, a lot of fishing out on the Delta, um, and just an overall good dude. So um, check him out. He's my buddy. Fishing in Columbus, take it easy, man. Um, I'm going to try to get all those linked tonight somehow. Uh, I don't know how, but I, I'm going to try. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Fishing Fever TV, there you go, 777. Um, Pawn Hopper Nation, 534. Fishing Fever TV. Shout out. Feel free moke it. He's a feel free brother. I love it. That's cool. So uh, give the channel a, a look. And hopefully if you guys are into it, um, you know, drop that subscribe button. This is all about helping out our, <sighs> helping out the community. You know what I mean? Helping out the community. Where are we at? I think New England Bass, um, 746. He could use a little bit to bump over there. I think, I think we're pretty good for now. I, I know I missed a few. Um, maybe this is something I can add to as we go. You know what I mean? Add to different channels and whatnot. Um, I'm going to jump into my creator studio really quick and we'll pop into analytics. Well, you know, Ginger Empire said sub swapping will become a thing now just for everyone to hit 1k. And, you know, I can see that as a possibility and I don't, um, I don't like that. Like whenever somebody does sub for sub to me, I ignore it. Um, you know, I want people to subscribe to me because they, um, want to see it. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I want people to subscri subscribe to my channel.
So I have a niece that goes to WSU right now. Anyways, um, where are we? Search. Suggested videos. <clears throat> Where is that um, discovery report? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Sorry, guys. I am I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out. Something. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. East Bay Angler. What's up, buddy? Zepsons asks, check out my channel. It'd be appreciated. Um, okay. I'm trying to figure out something that I thought I knew, but. Maybe it's a different, um, maybe it's in the beta. See, I make all sorts of YouTube money. Isn't that crazy? Top videos, watch time. There's something that talks about who watched it, whether it was a subscriber or not. Okay, so here's a, here's an interesting thing, and this kind of goes to the push for subscribers. You guys, I know you're going to need the subscribers now, but after you get to that 1,000, simmer down. It, you know, Try to grow subscriber base, but realistically, people are going to find you in different ways. So my traffic sources for the last 28 days, suggested videos right there. Bam, 41% browse features. 22 some of those browse features are from subscribers some of them are not youtube search 99 percent of these people right here that 21 percent are people searching for something okay so they they are looking for a topic and they found my video through the search External and other, um, other could be like they go to your channel um, and they they actually find your channel and look at the videos on your channel. External is going to be stuff like a, you know, like a website you posted on. If you posted on Facebook or a forum, um, that type of thing. See, um, our ledge nineteen ninety two says I found your channel looking for reviews on the feel free lure. One uh, thirteen five. So <clears throat> that's that. You know what I mean. That's how you're gonna find a lot of um, stuff. So you need to put that good stuff out there. Good videos. You need to do a good job on your, you know, content on how you're tagging things, all of that stuff, in order to to get that discovery going. Um, once you get that discovery going, you know, trying to capture the the audience with good content, and then hopefully they will subscribe. Um, that's going to be the the most organic method of doing it. Well, I'm glad you found me, Corey. Um, audience, look at that, dude! It's all a, it's a sausage fest in here. Look at that sausage fest. Um, in screens, teasers, stuff that I really don't know much about. Okay. Um, I hope that that answered a few questions possibly. Um, I am trying to do this. Stop. Okay. We're back. <coughs> So here's, here's something I want to caution everybody on. There could be 
if you have a smaller channel, there could be this urge to really go out there and start spamming like, Hey, sub for sub or, Hey, you know, I could use the help. Check my channel out. Um, that isn't going to be effective. And once it happens a few times, it could become an issue. Okay. So if you start spamming, um, a bunch of inboxes, messages, or if you start spamming comment sections, most people don't respond to it well, and it could kind of lock you up in a way as a spammer. So your genuine comments might actually go into spam folders, if that makes any sense. So you got to be careful about that. Okay, um, Ginger Empire, thank you for, for uh, doing that. And um, I'm going to put a link to your channel too. Um, I don't, I don't watch a lot of gaming channels. It's just not my thing, but that's okay. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think people should just willy nilly subscribe to something that they don't like, but I think that some of the smaller channels need to be discovered. You know what I mean? How, how what's the best way to go about doing that? Um, like, is something like this helpful? Do you guys think, or a real like a real video, not a live, um, highlighting channels or something like that? I know um, Southern Outdoors Fishing. He's doing something like a subscriber shout out. I don't know if he's shouting out channels or subscribers. I haven't really watched it, but um, yeah, I don't know. Um, so let's go ahead and take some questions, and we'll answer a few questions. We'll probably wrap this up in about ten minutes. Um, if there's anything in the next 10 minutes that I can help out with um, for you guys, let me know. Um, I'm not a pro at this. I really am not. Um, I do this for fun, right? A few months ago, it got to be a lot less fun. I was really worried about my analytics and my subscriber counts and not reaching some goals I had set. And I almost walked away from doing YouTube. And I had to really sit down, look kind of at myself at why I do YouTube and make a decision on, do I want to stay doing it? Um, and I decided I, I remembered why I started it in the first place. And that really reinvigorated me. And my worry is that small channels are going to get totally crushed by this, you know, just deflated and kind of lose sight of why they're doing it in the first place. And I think if you're doing it to just share your story, to encourage people to do something, to teach a skill or whatever it is, I think that, you know, this shouldn't really impact you. You know what I mean? It's going to, it's going to suck for a little bit, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you have this new crappy bar to reach, but once you get there, you're going to be past it. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm not trying to just make it seem like this isn't a big deal because it, it is, it's a totally big deal, but um, I don't know. I, I hope you guys get the, get what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> okay. Um, this time of year, a top 10 favorite channel vid would be a good idea. You know what? That's not a bad idea. I could do something like that. Just reach out to some of my, um, you know, creator friends and say, Hey, can I pull some clips off of your channel to do a top 10 thingy? Um, and maybe like a top 10 videos under a thousand subscribers. Maybe that would be a good, um, you know, effort that I could do something like that. Um, LT Adora says, I was with Chris. I have found one thing that has helped me name your file name as the same as the title and thumbnail and include the description has helped a lot. That's totally true. When you guys go to save your file, um, if your file name is actually the same or similar, has some of the same keywords as the title that you're going to upload to YouTube, that will actually help your, your metadata, whatever the heck that means. Um, so kind of have some similar title. <clears throat> Make sure that you're writing a full description. I had a friend of mine who's Nephew is, uh, he's pretty young. He's probably like 13, 14, something like that, maybe 12, who's starting a YouTube channel. And I looked at his channel, not writing a description. She called me up and said, hey, can you can you help me out with my nephew? 
he's got some questions about YouTube. What sh what's he doing wrong? What's What should he be doing a little bit better? And the first thing I saw was he's not writing a description. He's not tagging any of his videos. So I said, well, that's what he needs to do. That's going to help him a little bit. And writing a good title, a good description, and good tags is a good start. Why do you think top 10 wouldn't work, Jay Moley? Why not? Just let me know why not. Um, <clears throat> so just um, kind of to recap some new rules, YouTube has changed the partner program. You now have to have 4,000 hours, 240,000 minutes in a year, in the last year um, of watch time, and 1,000 subscribers before you can partake in the um, program. So kind of chatting about that today, kind of doing a little shout out for some of my friends that have smaller channels. And like I, when I say smaller, I mean, they're really not that much smaller than mine in the grand scheme of things. And maybe that's kind of, it's kind of maybe scary in a way. Like what's to stop YouTube from saying you have to have 10,000 subscribers before they'll monetize something. I mean, that could be the next step. If that's the case, you know, that's, it's going to be pretty lame. Um, but you know what? I'd still probably keep doing videos just because of why I have decided to do them. You know what I mean? That's true. Uh, larger channels, like, um, you know, some of the big ones like Ryan Upchurch, you know, he's got a big channel. It's not huge, but they show up a little bit, um, easier in search results just because the algorithm, I think, um, does weight search results towards larger channels. Um, so one thing, you know, that you can do that I would encourage people to do is um, use something like a TubeBuddy. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with TubeBuddy, but let me flip it over really quick. Oh, there we go. So TubeBuddy is a tool. It's a plugin tool that um, it's a plugin tool that you can actually use to help um, make your videos a little bit easier to be found. They have all sorts of um, tips and stuff like that that help um, with like tags. So let's just say. I want to do a video on my kayak. So I type in kayak. And then I'm going to hit um, explore. So this is going to give me a summary of kayaks. Okay, Kayak, kayak fishing. These are the most used tags. 68% of people that have a top ranking video that has to do with anything with kayaks have kayak fishing in it. So <clears throat> your search, it'll give you a keyword score. Your search volume is very high. Your competition is very high. So overall, that's a bad keyword to target. And this tool really helps you target your keywords. So let's do kayak fishing. These are the most used tags that relate to that for videos that use kayak fishing as a tag. These are the other ones, okay? Search volume is very high. Competition is very high. Overall, it's a poor tag to search, okay? Um, what about kayak fishing for sharks? You know, that's... Let me show you really quick. TubeBuddy, it's... Um, Kayak fishing for sharks is a bad one. Holy crap. Let me see really quick. It's a plugin and it's Tube Buddy. Tube Buddy. They do have a free um, 
service. So the plugin's free. It's a browser extension. I mean, you, it's a really great tool, guys. So um, check it out. It's got a lot of stuff that'll help you save time. Um, there, you know, you can purchase uh, better plans. And I did pay for a plan just because I'm on it so much. And some of the time saving things help. Um, but Tube Buddy, and it helps with a lot of search optimization and, and all of that stuff. So. <clears throat> All right. Are there any questions? Any questions that I can ask before I end this? Dragon Dude Collecting. It sucks, man. It really does. It um, It's one of those things that can just take that, you know, uh, the air and just take it right out of your tires and just deflate your, you know, your motivation and all that stuff. My suggestion for everybody that is kind of dealing with this, if you are serious about YouTube and you're doing it because, you know, you started it for a reason and maybe it's time to just look back. Why did I start this? Um, I know this is going to sound like something BS maybe, but why did you start it in the first place? Did you start it to get famous, you know, maybe, maybe that's a bad reason to try to start something. You know what I mean? Did you start it because you wanted to put something out there? You were a creative person. You wanted to tell a story. Did you start it because you love fishing and you wanted to show your catches? You wanted to have some memories. Um, why did you start doing it? And I think sometimes we get way caught up in, you know what? I've got to make this type of video because that's the type of video that everybody watches. So I've got to, I've got to replicate a channel, you know what I mean? And try to be like that person. Well, I kind of think that that is a little overdone. There are so many channels out there that, you know, for fishing that are trying to be John B, you know what I mean? Or there's so many channels out there that do, you know, trying to catch fish with a gummy worm. Um, at some point that stuff just kind of wears out and you become one of thousands instead of you, you know what I mean? Like you are who you are and you're doing this for your own reasons. And I think when you try to be something you're not, and I'm probably guilty of this too, um, you know, it might hamper you. So my, my encouragement would just be, you know, <clears throat> Just stick after it. If it's something you care about, then the money's just a, a side thing, right? So just keep doing it for, for all the right reasons. I don't know if that makes any sense. I know. So you say you started because you wanted Dragon Dude Collecting. I started because I wanted to put my opinion on stuff out there. Yeah. And you can still do that. They're not taking your channel away. They're making it harder for you to get to the point where you can earn money. And we talked about this at the beginning of the stream that I think is an important component to incentive to, to give people, I can't say that word incentivize. You know what I mean? Um, I think that the, the AdSense payments are an important component to incentivize smaller channels to do things better. Okay. When you start getting that $50 or that hundred dollars every couple months, you're like, yeah, sweet. You know, I could save up and I can buy a new GoPro or whatever it might be to make your channel better. And it's just that incentive to, to keep, you know, tweaking it to where you're a little bit better, a little bit better on your quality, on your content, all that stuff. And taking that away, I think does a disservice to the small channels. That incentive is no longer there. And now it's just all about growth. And I worry that you're going to see a ton of that spam out there like, oh, sub for sub, you know. And I kind of worry about that. I don't know. <sighs> okay. YouTube would James Yeager you within a month. Yeah, <laughs> maybe 206. <clears throat> Let me just show you guys some long-term analytics. Um, just so you know, it does take time, but you can get there, okay? 
Um, let me get to my analytics really quick. Creator Studio. Hang on, I'm almost uh, I'm almost where I want to be. Um, now my channel does not have a lot of watch time. Um, I'm still a growing channel. I have a long ways to go. I'm almost at, um, you know, almost at a million. Some guys hit a million with one video. Um, that's not me. So really quick, this is the last 28 days. Let's um, let's look at lifetime really quick. Come on, lifetime, where are you at? All right, look at this. I started in May of 2014. Look at that. Ten minutes. Ninety-one minutes. Two hundred thirteen minutes. 250 minutes, 226 minutes. A year into it, I thought I was high roller with 480 minutes. I was grinding. I was posting videos three, four, five. Well, probably, probably posting eight videos a month, maybe six, seven, eight videos a month. And then started getting a little traction. Thousand minutes. Brandon Mack, don't let it take the wind out of yourselves. I understand why it would. 2014, yeah, I'm totally old. I have an old channel. My channel is old. It's taken me a long time. I've done a lot of things wrong. I've done a lot of things wrong. I've done a lot of things okay. But I've done a lot of things wrong. Brandon, don't let it take that wind out of yourself. Post the videos because it's something you like to do, that creative aspect of it, telling a story, whatever it is. Don't post it to make money. You know what I mean? We're not making any money anyways. You know what I mean? You, you got to have a ton of views to make any money on YouTube. So finally, a year and a half into this whole gig, I start to hit a little bit of a spike. And you can see it's just this slow burn trend uh, going up. So it takes a while, guys. It does. Um, but it's doable. It's something you could do. Views. Let's see the views over a year. Same thing. So there's the views, right? It did okay right there. And then, and then kind of back up. Um, Subscribers. Yak and TV says he's really new, only three months into it. So go go take a look, guys. Um, so this isn't the uptick. Um, this is just a flat across when subscribers were gained. You know, look at one, 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 one. And really, honestly, guys, like I get a few a day. You know, four, five, six a day, but it's taken a while to get here. You know, on a good day, that's a great day. Thirty-nine. Um, a, a, another great day, twenty-six. But you know, about average, it's like twelve a day. Um, you know, on average, like it just takes some time. And I don't want to discourage anybody. I really don't. Um, I guess more than anything, my whole thing would be. You know, like do it for the right reasons. Do it because you love to do it. Um, let's see. I, I hope that makes sense. Like I'm not not trying to be hard on me. Look at that. That's one of those fun things to deal with, right? Right there. Yay. Thank you, YouTube. Um, I did a video a while back kind of explaining my thought process on why I do YouTube. And it's right here. Why do I even do it? Is it even worth it? And honestly, with the amount of time that we all put in <clears throat> and the size of the most of our channels, it, it's really not. I, okay, so Drop Force Survival um, dropped in 
averages 500,000 views a month. Still have to have a normal job to pay the bills. Chris is right. Do it for the love of whatever you are doing. Um, I mean, that's it, guys. Like, um, Drop Force Survival has a, a big channel, everybody. And it's not something that it... Stop. Okay. It's not something that, you know, that is going to really, like, I don't want to be too much of a realist here. Like, I'm not trying to be, a, you know, a jerk about it. But, I mean, if we're going to be realistic, is this going to pay my bills, support me and my kids? You know what I mean? And the answer to that is, no. Now, are there ways that you could leverage a platform like YouTube to make some money, you know, a little side hustle or whatever? Totally. And maybe sometime down the road, we could chat about that. Like, it, I think I had this conversation with a dude who's kind of my YouTube mentor, and his name is Steve, and he has a channel called <clears throat> uh, Adventure Outdoors, okay? And he and I were talking, we, we were hanging out one day, we we're talking about YouTube. And he said, if you ever get to the point where you think you can put all your eggs in one basket and live off of a YouTube channel, I'm going to come and slap you silly because YouTube could at any time disappear. YouTube could fold. YouTube could take away your monetization, you know, could do any of those things. And this would be like, if I ever got to be a big channel, okay. You could, YouTube could do any of those things to, to impact you. And it's just not a stable way to live. And I know we see the Casey Neistat's or Neistat or whatever. And the, you know, the big channels that it looks like they're, they're making their living off of YouTube. Most of those dudes are making their living off of partner deals. Okay. They're They're getting paid to show a product in a video or something like that. Um, you know, look at my kids, they, they love, and I like, um, I'm brain farting on the name right now. Oh gosh. The trick shot dudes. Oh my gosh. I'm totally brain farting on them. Um, the guys from Texas that do all the trick shots with Ty, you know, and all those guys, um, dude, perfect. Okay. Dude, perfect has made probably the majority of their money from licensing deals. I'm going to just throw that out there. Okay. So they're, not, they're making money off of their YouTube channel and all of that good stuff, but they also have a business they run and employees. So they make money in other ways. So I guess in the, the, the long and short of it is I'm going to wrap this up. It's 11 PM. Um, but the long and short of it is guys don't get discouraged, support other channels. Um, you know, especially the smaller channels that are in the predicament they are in. If you are in this spot, don't get discouraged. Just focus, just drill down and really focus on a few things. Focus on quality content. Focus on doing it for the right reasons. And I think that those things, they will, it'll come. And if, if it's something where you're like, okay, well, I'm just going to quit now. You know what? maybe you'll have some more free time. I don't know, you know, to find something else that you do that you love. So um, I hope that makes sense. Um, I thank you guys for tuning in. If you are watching the rebroadcast of this, everybody, I'm going to have lists of um, channels down in the description that I'd like to shout out, you know, channels that I like to watch and people that I think are cool. So check them out. If you think they're cool too, subscribe to them. That's all I got. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out for about an hour in an impromptu live stream. Um, thank you guys for your support. I really appreciate it. We'll talk to you later.